Good morning. I'm tired. Good morning. God bless you. Good morning. Hope you guys are having a good day. Wait till I get some of you on here. I want to explain this whole occupy the border and uh, address any legalities as it relates to going into Mexico and shutting down the highway too. Which, by the way, did you know every VOP volunteer and journalist who was ever down on the highway to me crossed into Mexico illegally to grab stuff on the other side? Just so you know. This isn't something that our volunteers aren't trained in. This isn't something we haven't seen uh, or done. We know the area. Uh, but... Let's explain that. Waiting for one more person, Papa. All right, Mexican Highway Two. Now you just seen Yuma get hit with three thousand in, or with uh, one thousand in three days came through, and they just got flooded and pounded. So this is over here. Okay, Yuma. Yuma's getting hammered, right? Remember, they want you looking over here, or they want you looking over at Texas. They do not want you looking at this. Four major arteries breaking up. You can break these up into four sub routes. These are the illegal trafficking routes, main routes flooding up. This area stage, humanitarian aid, illegal trafficking routes to get these people straight up to Phoenix. Now, the Mexican Highway 2, okay? Yeah, it's right on that border. If the Mexican Highway 2 was not able to operate right where that arrow is, guess what won't happen in Yuma? They won't be able to bus all the people up and let them just come in Yuma. You actually protect California and you protect Yuma if that highway gets shut down right there. Right there. They only have one alternate route, which is a back sub shitty road that goes all the way over there. Most vehicles aren't going to be able to use that road. So the Yuma, all of a sudden, they don't have a thousand people invading them in a three-day time span. The numbers are just unprecedented where you're seeing in these little areas. The Highway 2, right here, there's a road. You see that road where the red line is? Red line means no wall. Green means you got a wall, okay? That's Sal Porto Blanca Drive. Anyone can be on that road. It's legal for you to be on that road. You just have to go occupy that road. Now, I'm going to explain things um, because some people just don't get it. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's a gift only a few of us have on how to get things done without even having to do one-tenth of what you know, you say you're going to do. Common sense. What happens? Let me break this down. Let me break this down. This is rocket science, guys. Okay? What happens if thousands of people go down to South Porto Blanca Drive and line up along that non-fence? You can walk down and stand on that border road. You have every right to. Okay? And by the way, the President of the United says... The United States said we're being invaded. Well, there's only one border that uh, we're being invaded uh, invaded from that they're focused on. <clears throat> I mean, they're not talking a whole lot about the ports of entries and what's coming down from Canada. But we're being invaded, invaded from Mexico. You're being invaded, Mexico, 
is part of the invasion. Mexico's part of the UN. Mexico signed that that treaty pact. They're not going to stop nothing. Well, you're going to see them stop anything unless you make them. Now, American citizens can go down there and you'll watch Mexico sit on their ass in their federality trucks while hundreds of people just walk right into our country and then Border Patrol has to deal with those they won't even move to intercept them. They won't leave any resources in the area to shut down that highway too. That is Mexico's responsibility. It's their highway. Their highway is being used to invade us. Okay, so what is Lewis trying to do? First off, anyone who says this is a stunt or, or, or uh, like run their mouth, just like tune the devil out. Tell the fuckers, say, get behind me. We got work to do. What am I trying to do? What am I telling you to I am telling you how you all can come together on your own, go down there, and you can shut down the border. You can shut down a large section of the border. You can take away a huge section from the cartel, from the Pima County uh, criminals down here, these open border criminals, and you can protect a section of America. The minute hundreds of people show up, the counterparts... The Mexican federalities, the Mexican government is going to have to pay attention. What do you do? Oh, shit. There's a thousand people on that road. And we heard a rumor that some people said that they're going to cross over and block our highway. That ain't cool. We can't allow that to happen. We can't have Americans invading us. What do you think they're going to do? They're going to line their people up on their side of the fence. That's what I'm trying to get you guys to do. Think. Use your head. Use your head. Trying to get people to understand. You can make them do their job because the sheer number of you, if y'all would just go down, go down to that border. Go down. How many can get down there in seven days? You got six now. A day's gone. A day's gone. Seven days. Seven days. If people can't get down, start uh, occupying those public lands, go camping. You're allowed to. Go down to those lands. See for yourself. You'll have several days to see for yourself. Go down there. Pretty soon it's going to be so hot, you're definitely not going to want to come down. And, you know, we don't count on people when summer comes. There's very few of us who can go out and do what we do. But right now, there are ways you guys can help. You can line up. Force the counterparts. To line up their side because the mere threat of someone going in and shutting down their highway and blocking their highway, well, that's going to hurt the Mexican economy. That's going to hurt the cartels. That's really going to hurt the UN and the globalists who are busing these people. They're using this major highway that has no wall, over 95 miles of no wall on a major highway. Look at this map. This is not a joke. What we need people to do is to occupy this, draw so much attention to this. We take all the risk. Just let us do our job. We've been doing this a long time. We've been doing this a long time. Don't play into the drama and the people who are telling you not to do something. And say, oh no, these people are going around breaking the law. No, these people are breaking the law. These people are coming into my backyard. Humane borders. These people are breaking the law. Those humanitarian aid stations. Suddenly it was an issue for people. Listen guys, these people are breaking the law. They're using these people. And these people are breaking our immigration laws, by the way. You've got honest in immigrants that are coming over and doing things the right way. So when it comes to people talking about, oh, they're just running around breaking the law. Okay, yeah, that's why we're still out running around producing evidence every day, busting our ass cleaning the desert every day. Yeah, that, that's why, yeah. <laughs> no one's provided BP agents in this area anything like we've done for them. Nothing. And we're only going to keep doing and keep doing better. Anyone with a brain should be able to figure out that if thousands of people went down to El Paso and stood with conservative Anthony and them, Lined up and made a human wall, which is all we're trying to get you to do. You make a human wall, you're going to force both sides to do what they have to do. There's not, you're not even going to need to go into Mexico and shut down the highway. You don't understand. You're going to achieve what needs to be achieved without even having to do that. But you just got, man, people just, well, why can't they think? It's this right here, guys. 
The minute you see someone go out and try to stop people from doing the right thing, the right thing, this is the right thing. Shutting down our border is the right thing to do. We've got two more women trafficked through this area on video. And just because they're walking with them doesn't necessarily mean that they're, they're uh, wanting to be there. And sometimes some of those women, they're just as bad as the men. I mean, they're worse. They're coyotes themselves. They'll traffic. I mean, they're, they're vicious. So, But either way, you shouldn't have no women trafficked up through this area. No children smuggled up through this area. We got trail cam videos of children and women trafficked through the desert. Both women and children should not be trafficked through the desert, period. You can stop that. And all it takes is for everybody just to quit looking for some group and some leader and just go down and do. Go down and do. You know, we lit a spark for you. We sent our statement over to the president. But we're about uh, 103% confident on a protocol and what's going to take place and transpire. We've been down here fighting this enemy using tactics that they've never seen. We know their response and we know what they have to do. We know what they won't risk because we're a wild card. You can't control us. You can't tell us what to do. You're allowing these people to invade us. We have every legal right to go down into Mexico right now and start slaughtering the cartels for allowing this child and woman rape to take place in our desert, flooding our the shit they're doing to kids. You think we don't have a moral right to go down into Mexico and take out the cartels ourselves? You bet you're asking me, do we should have sent our, our soldiers in there a long time ago. You should have went and liberated Mexico from the cartels, not give them fucking guns. Not help them move their drugs. Not set up these human trafficking routes for human trafficking. Human trafficking is what you need to stop. Just because we have a moral right to do something doesn't mean we're going to do it. But sometimes thinking about it and even talking about it makes you feel a little bit better. Don't forget, we want the other side to know. If we ever do turn in the wolves, you can bet your ass we're not going to be hurting the sheep or the lambs. We'll be going through the, for the throats of other wolves. Crazy. So... Don't listen to no drama. You're always going to have these people that want to go out. Look, man, we go out and work every day. We got work to do. We got work to do today. We got more evidence to give the Border Patrol today. We got a lot more work today. Do you know how much trash is left to pick up out here? It's crazy how much. I mean, they destroyed our desert completely. It's, it's sick. You just got to go out and walk it. We got work to do. We're building the warfighter wall. We're setting up the staging on the mountains that the cartels were using against Border Patrol. We're putting people on those mountains. We're doing what we said we were going to do. We're going to keep doing what we do every day. We go work every day. You guys get stuff every day you see us out there. Every day for nine months. Guess who you've seen? VOP. Every day you've seen us out there. Every single day. And look at all the miracles God's done through us. Just amazing. Just amazing. Don't care. Don't care what other people say. Don't, don't, even, don't even get involved in those games. Has nothing to do with the women and children being trafficked. If you really want to secure this border, all you have to do is get with all your friends, get with everybody who thinks like you, who wants a secure border, who's willing to go down and line up and build a human chain on the Mexican Highway 2. You're not crossing into Mexico. You could if you wanted to, but that's not what we're telling you to do. No. We're telling you to take your flags and line up that border road. Line up the Mexico. You have every legal right to stand there and build a human. And watch. Watch all those trucks. You're going to realize just quick, man, you know what? The minute I leave, there's no one standing here. There's no one standing here. Enough of you go down there. Border Patrol protocol. The National Park. The Rangers protocol. They're going to have to call in some extra people and help keep an eye on you guys exercising your right to stand on your border road and link arms and pray and hold your flags and just do it. No politics, no Democrat signs, no Republican signs, no, none of that shit. No, just do it. And their ability to traffic humans. You can do that. 
Once you do that, there will be a reaction. There'll be a reaction. If enough of you go down there, you'd be amazed at the reaction you're going to get. And then all these people that weren't even covering that highway, you realize, wow, check it out. Our numbers just quadrupled because Mexico sent up some of their military and a bunch of their federals to watch us because they're afraid that we're just going to run over there and shut the highway down. And we got BP and, the, and look, oh my God, look, the military is actually getting a little bit closer to the border. They're going to have to come down because the Mexican military is coming up to the border. You're going to put all the resources right where they need. All you have to do is go down peacefully and occupy that road. And you are allowed to carry. You are allowed to carry. We recommend you carry. Concealed carry. Let Border Patrol know you're carrying. Open carry. Don't give a shit. But you don't need full kits. You don't need 500 rounds of ammunition. You're not going to get shot at and killed down there. They don't want that attention. They don't want the world looking at what you'll see. You will make the entire world. And then you're going to have helicopter views of just how wide open your border is. And you're going to see that there is no military down there. There's no military down there. Border Patrol doesn't have what they need. If you guys just do this, that's all you got to do. And that's all we're saying. We see the people go down. We got the people's back. We'll go on the mountains. We got your back. That's all it takes. Go build a human wall. Do the same thing over there in Texas. I got a message from Anthony last night, conservative Anthony. It's like, man, yeah, get your people down there. They want to do it while Arizona's doing it, which means we can get Doc over there in California to do it. That'd be a pretty big statement if everybody would just get this mentality out. We don't want to mobilize a standing army. We are, we are strategically, whether you agree with the tactics or the language or the rhetoric, doesn't matter. I can give any rhetoric I want. At least I back my shit up. I've been getting rhetoric from the White House since finding that child trafficking camp. All nothing but rhetoric. I haven't seen anyone held accountable. We uncovered and proved all these illegal trafficking routes. All I got was rhetoric. Nothing. Then lies. The caravan went away. The military's on the border. We beat another caravan back. We end it. Catch and release. All lies. All lies. All lies. 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 But see, I backed my rhetoric up. And when I move to do something, it's justified. When I destroyed humane borders uh, tanks, they didn't go out and do laundry with them. Not no, tearing your shit down. You shouldn't drag a woman and child this far through the desert. These tanks aren't being used for the asylum seekers. I've been down there. I know where the asylum seekers are. I've gone down there and intercepted 100 asylum seekers. Okay, it was me, Mike, and Mike were the first ones to intercept children on that border. Three minors and a female. Coming through the floodgates. Running. And those people didn't want to stop like the other asylum seekers. They were really trying to get through. There was something with that particular first one. Uh, it all comes out in the wash anyways. You guys will see. So, we just tell people to call our bluff. Whether you think we're bluffing or we're just doing some publicity stunt, I don't see how the fuck anyone could say we're doing a publicity stunt. We go out every damn day picking up trash, gathering evidence, pushing the bad guys, trying to help protect our community. Every day we pay. We build a program. My family spent tens of thousands of dollars on a program and gave it to the people that wanted to destroy us and not allow us to do the mission as it needed to be done and we said okay go do it your own way they got property material everything a web page they got the mail we paid for all that we organized and built all that that web page was built by by me and the aussies working with dave we built that everything we built we gave all that and say go do go do with our blessing and you guys have seen me. I backed ADG. I backed ADG. And I backed ADG. I, I pulled away when they started the drama about that coyote phone. getting Blaming me 
for, 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 I didn't go tell everyone that I had that phone on live video. You did. And then I backed away because they're not out there. Simple. We, we didn't build that, guys, for it just to sit there. That's why I said you're not going to get this through a group. You're not going to get this through an individual. All of you just need to come together collectively. All of you. Who cares? You don't need a group to lead you. All you got to do is put God in front of you and go down there and watch what happens. He hears our prayers from top of those mountains more than you realize. Climbing that CMEX tower was, was probably one of the best things we ever did because millions more found out about that camp and then they weren't able just to let it die and make everyone forget about those children. And as long as people still believe in those children, we can still pray for them. They still exist. You know, we can go out and, and try to make sure that no one ever goes and uses an abandoned property to build a child trafficking camp and stick them in an underground bunker again. We can go out and make sure no one can tie women and children to trees and rape them. We can go out and confront this evil. That's what we've been doing. Every day. And we're not going to get into the drama. We're not going to sit here. I'm not going to play this bash back and forth. Oh, they, he said, she said, said, I got work to do. We got work to do. We go out there and work every day. We got our fruits. Where's your fruits? So don't come to me about what someone else is saying or anything like that. We don't care. We're not relying upon anybody. I told you yesterday that ADG said that they weren't that. I told you. I said, you know, a lot of people were wanting to come down. I recommended to go over to them. Maybe we can get them out. They said they got a lot going on, and that's bullshit. And that was that. So you're going to have to do this yourself. If you want to go down and you want a guide, VOP will provide you a guide. We will let you know exactly what... You need to do to stay 100% legal and safe, period. 100% legal and safe. Enough of you go down there. You got to go down on your own. You got to, I mean, you don't wait for some big giant group. You are the group. All the people's got to do is just start showing up and start building that human chain on that wall. Let us do our job. Let us do our job. We'll keep you safe. We'll keep ourselves safe, but we'll make both sides do their job. We'll make our government secure our side and Mexico secure their side. There's a way that we can do this. Stop making excuses of why we can't. So far, we've gone out and shown you we can repeatedly. Done. All the time. You have to do it yourselves, guys. That's it. You just have to go occupy the border. You can't be controlled by an individual. You all control yourselves working together as a collective. That's it. That's it. And while you're down there, man, do me a favor. Pick up trash. Even if a few of you show up, even if a few of you go down, fact check everything we're saying, maybe document a few rape trees, pull infant shit out of the desert, not just on the border, but go north on the border where the humane border trails are and see how far they traffic these women and kids and go and film that and show the world. You know what? Even a few of you going down to do that, at least we get a few more angels put on that border because there is some serious evil pouring into our country, man. These people, I mean, it is crazy what's happening. They're sending us every one of their criminals. They're sending us every one of their sex offenders. Look, man, 16 sex offenders in March, 11 of them. This is all Tucson sector, by the way. 11 of them on humane borders, illegal trafficking routes that south of my position. And these routes all connect, too. So, shit. You can even count the ones over in Lukeville, Ajo. All they got to do is come up and cut through the res and slice over to Tucson if that's their destination. You don't know. Good job, Border Patrol. But how many got through? Because that's all these other countries are doing. They're not sending us their best, their brightest. They're sending us their, their undesirables. They're trying to free up their plantation. And we're letting it happen. If you don't act and don't do, the outrage is going to overwhelm you guys. You know, it's just going to overwhelm you. You're not, and then nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to get done. At least go down swinging, America. At least go down swinging. 
Yeah, go down swinging. I'm not living on my knees. And we're not going to keep sitting here allowing these people just to come across. We're doing everything we can and we are stopping them in areas. We are pushing them over. We are providing intelligence like you would not believe. God blesses us. Don't tell me that God doesn't have his hand all over this. He'll, me and Michael will pull up right on the spot. We ain't searching. We'll walk 100 yards and find a cartel nest no one knew about in BP. Get papers, get phones, get doc, get all kinds of shit. That it's just like, wow. That's You go out every day and produce. We bust our ass, man. And now it's days and some nights. That's all you have to do. Go out and do. That's it. I don't have time to talk about people who aren't doing. I don't have time to talk about people who aren't doing. I mean, I can barely even keep up and share with what other people are doing. It's not like we don't. It's not that like we don't share uh, conservative Anthony and and. Um, uh, I think it's Oscar the Blue. I mean, there's quite a few. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about that Palamo for Trump. Probably didn't even say her name right. I'm tired anyways. But, we, you know, we don't share all those stuff. But it's not like I don't see them out doing, you know. Border, uh, the Border Network News. Their Twitter. Their Twitter. We tweet together. I share their shit all the time on Twitter. You know, they tag us and all their stuff. We push their stuff out on social media on different platforms. But... We're busy doing. We need them to be busy doing. If you can't come help us do, go help them do. Go help the people that are on the border doing. Not the people that are talking about doing. Not the people that are on Facebook. You know, let's all make a page and then we'll share border news stuff all the time. You know, there's a million of those. Well, why? Why? Because we're going to educate and make people aware. Look, you're being invaded. You're aware. We told you. You're already aware. Either you do something or you accept the invasion. But screaming and, and saying Americans don't know. Oh, man. Then let's put an end to all this. Every patriot who believes that, that we have to go out and, and educate America, then educate the entire country right now. Every one of you. Go down to Texas. Come down to Arizona. Go down to California. I don't know what to do about New Mexico. Sanctuary state. Fucking Haji moving through there. Islamic compounds training kids to murder us. You'll be quiet about all that, though. You're supposed to forget that, right? But no, go down there. And then force the world. Then force the government. You'll force the media. to Watch how fast the media shows up. You saw that little human wall they did in New Mexico. It got media attention. Imagine how much more media attention you have when you have people going down in droves. Everybody get down to either Texas or California or Arizona in six days on the border. Just go. Just go. Just go. That's all you got to do is go. Come down to Arizona. We will provide you guides. We, we, we'll, we'll have someone meet you. We'll help you get set up. We'll, we'll at least do that. But we have our mission to run. Unless enough people go down, then there, there's not going to be a... <laughs> there, there's not going to be a... Damn, flies. There's not going to be, um, nothing's going to change, man. If enough people go down, you will effectively shut down the cartel's ability to continue smuggling humans and drugs and criminals into our country. You will shut down Pima, Count Pima County and their illegal trafficking routes. You will actually, you'll see, I mean, you, you, you'll be providing, um, what is it, uh, trying to figure out how to explain this to you guys so just ignore all the rhetoric there are people that want this shit to stop right now you will be providing them the opportunity to where they're forced to come help, but they're, they're not going to be forced. They want to come help. You guys just need to go down and occupy the border. You don't need to do it with a standing army and a shit ton of rifles and any of that stuff. Man, we don't want no one to get killed. We've done this for nine months. No one's gotten hurt. No one's gotten killed. We, we don't want that. 
We don't want anyone to get hurt. There's enough people getting hurt, guys. There's people being hurt all over our country. There's people being hurt all over the world. We don't want anyone. We're not, we're not doing the world any good if we go out and hurt people. A lot of people are starting to talk about that rhetoric, you know, and that's the bad part about when I fire it up because you'll have the ones come out. Let's put up landmines. Let's put up snipe. Let's shoot them as they cross. No. Absolutely not, nor will we support anything like that. And if we see anything like that forming, we will be mobilizing against you to protect our agents. We're not going to let anyone put these guys in a bad situation. And we don't want politics. You see what that got the AZ Patriot movement over there in Yuma, politics. You see what that does. You see how our agents feel about politics. They don't care about politics. They care about the mission. If this is done right, in Arizona alone, strategically, no one knows these routes, these maps better than us. No one has covered more desert than us. No one. You have to have faith that the people who have gone out there and given you nine months of labor and toil produced all these amazing fruits still out there toiling the fields, still out there planting seeds, still out there growing, growing and succeeding in so many areas, just getting better and better and better. You have to have faith that we know what we're doing. But don't do that rhetoric. Our admins on this page, man, I don't want to go through. If I see, if I go through and see these comments are still up, just delete these comments. Everyone's been warned. Delete these comments. Anyone that comes over and brings drama from what some other group says or some individual says and they want to make it about anything other than what we're doing, then look, man, just, just ban and delete them. That's it. But for everyone right now, that's final warning. I'm not going to have a page up where people are saying, let's shoot these. No, you don't understand. There's victims involved. We have to separate the flock. Everyone's anger and their, and their outrage. And you can't get them to mobilize out of a fear for what's happening to the women and children. You know, some will mobilize out of the fear of what's coming into our country. And they know it's going to affect them and their women and children. You know, that's a pretty good reason to come down to the border. If you're coming down to the border because you hate illegals and you don't understand that these people are just pawns in the globalist agenda, the real ones you need to worry about are the ones we're going after, the camouflage clothing fucks. Those are your sex offenders and your gangbangers. Those are your drug traffickers, your child traffickers. Those are your criminals and your perverts. Don't, don't do that. Oh, anger, outrage, great. You won't see us use a, a, a violent rhetoric. We're not going to promote violence. When I said occupy the highway too, I specifically stated a Bible and a flag. And people are like, no, you've got to take guns. You stupid. Probably the last thing you want to do. Literally. And you don't have to. If everyone does what they're supposed to do, you'll see what God can do. The mere threat of that highway being occupied. You just have to go down and line up that border road. You can stage at Twin Peaks. You can go down there and park your car and actually sit in your car right down there and watch the highway and sleep in your car. We've done it. Taking turns and shifts. Parking right on that road, watching that highway at nighttime through our flares. Go see it. It'll blow your mind. And when you see how big it is and you look around, you don't see no border patrol. And it's not, look, they don't have nobody. You need to go down there. And then you'll force Washington and the politicians to give them what they need. They have no, they have nobody. They have nobody. Give them a chance. I've seen what they can do. I mean, they're, 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 they're what you need anyways. You need to build up a massive Border Patrol force that's capable of tracking these guys. These guys are trained. These guys are trained. And they know these deserts. And they know these valleys. And they catch these guys every day. Every day. They, it's not like Border Patrol doesn't catch them. Every day they're catching large groups. Every day they're catching these criminals in camo. Every day and night. Call and ask them. I wish they'd just put a ticker up for every time they intercepted one of these criminals because you would just see that number constantly go up. They do. They bust their ass. They do intercept the bad guys. They're getting a lot fewer of them 
than they normally would because they're being bogged down with all this humanitarian as by design. You need to take away that. You need to take away that Mexican highway too. You need to take away the Pima County Democrat stronghold that they had down here. These are open border politicians and there are conservatives and Republicans working with them just so you know. Neither party is innocent. Both parties are guilty. All they've done is talk and promise border security and you have to at some point stand up. You're being invaded. If you don't, we've warned you. I mean, shit, can you imagine a Paul Revere went and said, the British are coming, the British are coming and Shit, good thing you didn't have social media at that time because everybody be on their phones. British are coming. They'd be looking for the stories. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? No. The globalists are coming. The globalists are coming. You are being invaded. Bad guys are coming. We are, we are, we are not just screaming this. We're showing you. We go out and fight it every day. No one does it every day. No one does it like us. No one can do it better. And we're challenging anyone. Please do it better. Because once you step up and do it better, then I know we're headed in the right direction. Then God has control of something here. Because through him, it only gets bigger and better. And we can't be the last one standing. That just wouldn't make any sense at all. There's more people out there. There's patriots. There's Christians. There, you know, you're out there. There's atheists that love Americans. There's gays that love Americans. There's blacks, whites, browns. There's, there's people that love America. Where are you? You're being invaded. You're being lied to. You've been lied to from the top. And then they're telling you the truth in, on Twitter. And you, you're getting two stories from the same sources. And you're not getting any action. And DHS, we're going to blame Congress. Trump, we're going to blame the Democrats. Republicans, we're going to blame the Democrats. Oops. And why they do that, guys, they're coming through by the thousands And we can't stop it. Only you can. Understand that. We can only do what we can do in this area. And we won't give up because this is our backyard. We have every legal right to do every single thing we're doing in this area. Every legal right. TO reservation has now been forced. They got to move tribal resources up to this area. Good. Same thing can happen down on the border if people are smart and understand how we operate. We've operated this way for nine months and look at how many times we succeeded. And sometimes they call it our bluff. It didn't work out good for them. Because we'll do whatever God puts it in our hearts to do. You go down there, we'll come down. We'll come down with our angels. Our angels. We'll shine a bright ass light all over that highway. And then you don't have to sit there and watch all these reports of all these thousands and thousands and thousands getting caught and getting, guess what? They can't cross no more because you got a human wall there. And guess what? Border Patrol is going to have to watch your back because you have every right to stand on your national parks. You have every right to stand on that road. And guess what? Military is going to have to actually get out of these uh, centers fucking 30, 40 miles off the border and come down and back up BP because Mexican military is coming up because Mexican federalities are coming up. They're afraid all these people are going to cross in and shut down their highway. The only way they can bust them up to Yuma as fast as they're doing it, bust them up to California, shut it off, cut it off right there, cut it off right there, right at the edge of Pima County. We've got a plan where we're sweeping through. There's more. You have more than you know. There, are, Judge not by what you see. More than you can count our VOP. You don't understand. There's more. You need to go down. Take that route away. Shut that gate. Do it peacefully. Just organize and go. Go, come down. Well, I mean, shit. We'll get guides down there for you. We'll meet you down there. We'll tell you, hey, man, be right. I will put you right where you want to be. 
I'll put you on a two-way routes. I'll set you guys up in sections. I'll put you, I'll show you. I, there are, I've been on almost every mountain and hill, almost every mountain and hill along this road. I can put you over in sections. You can go over Quito, Paquito. Haji crosses over there. You can see that the road's right there, man. I mean, what are you going to do? There are places I'll put you. I'll show you where you can sit and just watch and pray as more people come. And the more people come, you link arms with whoever's going to go down there and say, look, man, I'm down here to stop it. I'm tired of all the talk. Good. Go down there and meet other people. They're down there to stop it. All it takes is for you guys to do that. That's it. But it needs to be the we, the people thing. It don't need to be this group thing, a VOP thing. No, that, that's, that's, no. Don't, don't fucking put us in front of these kids. We're going to be out here regardless. We're going to pay and do everything we can, sacrifice. We can spend our own money and volunteer our own time. We're, we, we can. Our church can do whatever we want. We can add ministry members. If it gets to where we're desperately need, needing more support because we're operating bigger areas, we'll just grow our church. But we have what we need right now. God rains manna from the heavens every day. All you have to do is go out and work. He will provide the miracle. You have to provide the labor. Go down, labor. Go on that, go on that highway, guys. Go down. Go down and visit Twin Peaks. Go down and look at the Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. Beautiful. Go look at our desert and go look at how they destroyed it. Go look at that. And then help Border Patrol. Pick up trash as more and more people come down. Six days. Get down there in six days. He sent Trump. We've notified them. Seven days. The American patriots go down and build a human wall. The veterans are coming down. And if the BB and the military is not there back in the people, we will force the Mexican government to send their people up to the border and shut down their highway. They'll have to. With the sheer number of people, if enough people would just go down there and build a, build a human, and then the media, boy, they're, they're not going to be able to ignore that. And then your politicians are going to come running like crazy. Then they're going to have to come and beg you. Then they're going to have to listen to you. Then they're going to, it's not safe, you can't do that. Why is it not safe for Americans to stand in America? Well, we're going to make it safe. You got to do this. You got to go occupy the border. There's nothing, you're being invaded. We've said this over and over. We've shown you, we've got, shown you, God's provided... <laughs> We've got over 100 individuals on trail cams. This is three and a half months of work. And this is just starting over, building a new program, a new platform that's going to be handed over to some other group at some point. Because every time we start over, we're able to learn from the mistakes we made the first time. We're able to adapt and modify. We evolve. There is no failing in VOP. If we fail, we end up 100 times stronger. And that's not failure. You can't grow and learn unless you make mistakes. God made us experts real quick. Open our eyes. We've seen it all. We've seen some of the sickest things down here. We've seen Americans continue to, to wait for a man to, to do what he threatens to do. And how many more times are we going to threaten? And then how weak does that make us look? One minute we're threatening to shut down the border. The next minute we're worried about avocados. Meanwhile, women and children are getting raped and dragged. Criminals, guys. These criminals are flooding in. These are perverts who've committed crimes against children and they're coming back into our country to commit more crimes against children. Don't you think the first children suffered enough? Yeah, it makes us feel when we open up, especially now knowing everything we're doing and we go and we look in media and we see another little baby's been raped, another woman's been raped, another American's been murdered, another angel family's been made. And then you find out these sons of bitches come through our sector. You know how that makes us feel? It 
Enough of it. People talk. It's all they fucking do is talk. Go out and walk. Just go down, line up the damn border. Enough's enough. Line up the border. Build your human wall. Get down to Texas. Come down to Arizona. We got your back. You don't need to worry about no other group. No one else is out there anyways. You don't need to worry about what drama or what someone's saying. All that. Look, go see for yourself. Help us stop these people. It's just coming back and forth. Previously deported baby rapers. Execute those fuckers. You invade our country, you rape one of our child, you ain't getting deported back to your country. You're getting fucking executed for the whole world to see. You don't come in and rape our women and children. Make an example. All this fucking talk, rhetoric, talk, talk. If you don't get out and walk, nothing's going to change, guys. Little babies are crying in the desert, being dragged through the desert. These perverts are snatching up these little kids. And <laughs> yeah. Go down there. Build a human wall. Go down there. Link arm in arm. Give a shit. Leave all the politics aside. Go down there and see for yourself. Shut down that highway too. Six days. If you're coming, you're on your way, contact the page. Mama or admins, they'll get a hold of me. I will contact you. You guys have any questions as it relates to the border? Uh, then if it's not Anthony's Twitter, it might be Oscars. It's, uh, Border Network News, I believe. It's all their stuff. It's, uh, shared on it. But their Twitter, go follow them. Uh, you can contact, I think it's Anthony. For that, but he's in contact with them. Like I said, I don't know a lot about these other groups. I can tell you what's going on in Arizona. We're working in Arizona. We're out here every day in Arizona. You're being lied to. There's no military on the border in Arizona. There is no security on Arizona. There, there's nothing. Border Patrol doesn't have what they need. It's still politics. It's still talk. What good is declaring a national emergency if you're not going to go down and shut down the major trafficking routes? If you're not going to secure our most vulnerable areas first. You just invaded America. You just put more slaves on a plantation. Just to prop up a political party and Republicans let it happen because they need to have an exciting election. Otherwise, they ain't got no job. They don't have no job. The whole system collapses and people wake up and they realize that both sides is playing you the whole damn time. It's like... <laughs> Then, then that's what they're afraid of. Then the political elites, that's what they're terrified of. Are the American people storming their homes, burning down their homes, revolting, a revolution, a violent revolution because of all the crimes they've concealed and all the crimes they've committed across the world. And then they sit back and allow us to be invaded for crimes they committed. These people aren't coming over here for anything I did to them or a majority of Americans. We don't want to send our boys over to some other country and secure their border and, and put them in situations where they have to shoot a child. These people are sick. You don't put them in that situation to begin with. We don't want to police the world. We can't even secure our own border. Those aren't crimes that the American people wanted. But we've accepted it and we've allowed it. And we've allowed it to take place. And that's bullshit. We, we reap what we sow. And the only way to get out there and protect you from that evil harvest coming your way 
is to go out and plant good seeds and it takes one seed, the smallest seed, the grain of a mustard seed, one good kind act, one time you stand up and say enough, no, I do not accept this evil. We don't want the evil of women and child trafficking, the raping, the murders of these women and children to take place. We want our borders secured. And if, if the border issue isn't your thing, then stop these people from slaughtering these babies in these abortion clinics. These abortion clinics. I mean, they're murdering them after they're giving birth to them now. No big deal, right? Do something. Stand up. Do something. Do something. Put light in the world. Shine a big ass light down on this border. If it don't work and the people don't show up, don't say you weren't warned. No one can say we didn't do our best. We didn't try. I mean... We're going to be taking bigger risks than most people anyways, you know? So, hey, don't say you didn't have the opportunity. When you're standing before God, what did you do to stop child trafficking? What did you do to help those babies that were praying in the desert, calling out my name, begging for it to stop? Where were you? What you do? Did you pray for them? Did you go out and, and try to stop it? What'd you do? Do something. That's all I'm asking people to do is just do something. Don't listen to people who talk. Don't pay someone to do something. Just go do it. Don't raise, gotta raise, fund the wall, fund the wall. I, get, I keep getting all these tweets, all this shit put on my page. Fund the wall, fund the wall, fund what wall. Take money from the people? Don't need to. All you need is the people to come down, link hands, Bring their flags and Bibles and you will shut down this border just by being down there. It just takes enough of you to come down. It just takes enough of you. And the only way to do that is for the first person to say, oh, I'm going. And the next person, that's it, I'm going. I'm packing my shit right now. I'm preparing to go to Arizona. Call your friends. Hey, man, you want to go down to Arizona with me? This isn't something you schedule on a weekend or anything like that. These criminals come in seven days a week. We're invaded seven days a week. You can't shut the border down on a Tuesday. You ain't going to be able to shut it down on a Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. You have to shut it down every day. It doesn't matter what day of the week. I know there's people that have jobs. But you know what? You're not going to have those jobs much longer. Shit keeps going. That great economy. Yeah, you watch what happens to our economy. While our people suffer, the invaders are going to get everything. They already are. I wish our homeless had the legal help that these people are provided. I wish those organizations had come down and coach these people on how to break our immigration laws, how to circumvent our immigration laws. I wish they would go out there and protect our homeless and our mentally ill on how to circumvent this justice system that has no justice. Doesn't he have any authority? Should, there shouldn't be any justice system right now until the Clintons are held accountable, the Bushes are held accountable, until the global elites who've committed all these crimes and, and, and perpetuate all this, Obama, all of them, all of them, they should be held accountable. Then you have authority in the Department of Justice to hold the lesser people accountable. But if you can't hold the ones at the top, that's not justice. If you can't hold them accountable, it's, not a, it's the Department of Injustice still. And these people send all our tax dollars, all these immigration lawyers, all this money for legal for these people on how to sneak in our country. And they just throw our homeless in prisons. They just throw our mentally ill in prisons. They just throw our drug addicted in prisons. Those drugs wouldn't be so plentiful if you guys weren't financing these illegal trafficking routes that we have all these teens and kids carrying drugs through. Our angel families are going to get a lot bigger, and I'm sorry. But we're doing everything we can. Every day we're going to go out there and just keep doing what we can. We operate under the Good Samaritan Law. Government regulations have no authority to prevent us from doing a child search and rescue. To prevent us 
from fixing fences, picking up trash, occupying our public lands to keep the cartels off the mountains. There is nothing. The Good Samaritan Law protects our Christian work. It's a missionary work that we do. It's a ministry program. And we're going to keep going out and doing. That's it. We just need other people to do the same thing. That's it. If it's not talking about stopping this child trafficking, I don't want to hear about it. If it's not talking about preventing these guys in camel from going up and raping this third American child, I don't want to hear about it. Because if we can't stop these guys, we can't save our children from these guys. We have to stop them. And we can stop them. We can stop them. But there's a we in there. Not VOP can stop them. Not Border Patrol can stop them. Not the military can stop them. There's a we. And in order for you to pull all three together, you need we the people on the border. And you watch your Border Patrol. Watch your six. Don't do no politics. Form a human peaceful chain line flags. You'll have people down there. We'll be down there to help. We'll be down there to link arms with you. We'll show the world. And then your military. Then we can get them out of these centers and these stations and, you know, actually put them on the border. But even if that don't happen, it could be a pie in the sky dream. Who knows? I know it will work. I'm pretty good at what I do. It'll work. I know you have more than you know, a lot more. Oscar L. Blue, Border Network News. That's it. Yeah. Yep. Now you guys know how I really feel about the politics, but here's the thing is, you see these people out every day on the ground, and it, not every single thing's political, and that's the way we were in the very beginning too, in the very, very beginning years ago. That's why I pushed all the politics out, because it was preventing us from growing and just doing the job. That's all it did. It was alienating our neighbor against our neighbor, and we couldn't get Democrats and Republicans working together to save veterans if we're going out there and bad-mouthing Republicans, or we're going out there and bad-mouthing Democrats. You have to remove the politics. So if you see them removing the politics slowly, and they're just hitting the ground, and they're calling for people to come down and help them, go down and help them. You know, you're going to see whether or not there is, is beneficial or fruitful. But the only way to know is if to go down and help them. We're in Arizona. We're in Arizona. We're not abandoning our backyard to go over to Texas or California or anywhere. I mean, that's no. We have an obligation to stop children from being trafficked in our backyard. All of our finances, all of our resources are used to protect children in our backyard. If you're local and you want us to build you a program like we built, ADG had, we'll build you the exact same program. We'll find you properties. We'll help you set up your mail. We'll collect, connect you with people who will donate materials if you want to do that. We'll build you a program and give it to you if you use that program to go out and stop this child trafficking. Help secure this border. There's a hidden move on the chessboard, but it takes we the people to step up. And all you got to do is step up and take that one section. Take the Mexican Highway 2. Show the world what's going on. Come down. Six more days. Get six more days to get down here. Come down early. Stay down for six days. Come down right now. Come down and be out there tonight. Go out there and look at what's going on tonight. Go down and watch these buses pull over and hundreds come across. And board them. Go out there and make sure some pervert doesn't snatch a little girl that came off that bus and runs around the side and rapes her under a tree. That happens right off that highway. Go down and stop it. Go down and stop it. Go save a child. Go save a child. It'll change your life. I pulled molested, abused children off these streets. 
And I, I've seen where the government put them right back in the hands of the pedophile in one situation. I've seen it all. Need you guys, man. We the people. Go occupy the border. BNN was hacked. Sorry to hear that. Well, whoever did that, I hope they do well, good. Press charges on those people. Anyone is, and you, when you have these people stepping up trying to stop people from doing stuff or, or wanting to to make public statements and try to bash people and then, you know and make it about anything other than stopping these children, that's the devil. Tell that fucker to get behind you. Do it all the time. Get thee behind me, Satan. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. We got a job to do. We're going to go out and do our job every day. Guess what? Right after this, we're going to do what we did yesterday and the day before and the day before and the week before and the month before. We're going to do what we've been doing for nine months. We're going to go out there. We're going to pick up trash, identify the routes, isolate the routes, eliminate the routes. Continue to gather intelligence. Border Patrol will have a better idea of how many are getting through that they're not catching. Because they are catching groups on our cameras. There's more that, that we do and that we're doing that, you know, it's, well, it's for, that, that's for secret hand. That's for secret hand. That's how we can best protect you, America. If you come down and, and occupy the highway too, we'll come down and stand with you. But it's got to be a we the people movement. It's got to be a we the people movement. Eventually, most of you are going to have to go back home. You'll be able to do what people should have done a long time ago. You will force them to come to you. You won't have to beg them no more. You won't have to beg them for border security. Go build your human wall. I'd be honored to stand hands with anybody who would love to stop these people. They're just... And I'm not talking about the refugees, the ones that are being used. You're going to have to learn to separate, guys. I'm talking about these fuckers that the Democrats are helping. These illegal trafficking routes that aren't used for migrant farmers. And they put heavy dope bundles on the backs of teenagers, kids, and traffic them all the way up. Strong enough to carry a bundle? You're carrying a bundle if you want to sneak into America. You're not using those routes unless you're making the cartels and the global elites money. Period. There's no free pass on these routes. You can't even get through some neighborhoods. You used to not be able to get through Agua Blanca without paying a fee. You got Americans on this side that are ripping them off too. It's crazy. Any other questions you guys have? I want to show you real quick. Get you up there today on the latest group crossings. Helicopters were flying out. Let's see. All right, let's see. So, remember we told you the other morning during coffee, you know, BP had contacted us and asked if we had anything on our cameras last night or the night before. We had groups moving through. So, this and everyone is of the same. Um, well, you just know. You'll see. All right. So, you ended up having seven individuals come through. Now, Pause this right here for a minute, okay? Now, this is a female. Sorry, it's coming out fuzzy. I don't know what's wrong with my screen. It comes out really good. It won't come out good on my phone for some reason. We got a female here. Right behind this guy is another female. You have two women in this group. 
you'll see her pop up right there. She actually looks over. It's almost like she might have seen that <laughs> that thing. Pretty good. I don't know why it doesn't come out clear on this. Uh, but anyways, you had two women that moved through. This guy in the back, he was fixing his pants. <laughs> he had his shirt and his mouth tucked up, but he's actually fixing his pants coming out of the tree. So let's hope that, you know, those women didn't have to do something they didn't want to do. But this guy's literally walking down the trail, fixing his pants. You can see he's got his shirt up over his mouth and he's doing something with his belt, whatever. But the, the, these are the people that... These are the people that you need to worry about most. These are where a majority of your sex offenders and your criminals, these, these are, the, these people can't turn themselves in. And right now they're using the people who can turn themselves in to get more of these criminals around and invade us with the worst of the worst. They're flooding us with wolves. And you have to stop their ability to use these people. They're just bringing them up for Democrat votes to prop the system up. They're put, they're making slaves out of them. They're not lining them up to do jobs. They're lining them up for welfare benefits that we're going to pay for while we don't have money for our own Americans on the streets. Are you kidding me? Come on, guys. You have to stop their ability. This is the game they've been playing. What we're trying to get you to understand that is if you come down and you do this peacefully and you do it smart, let us do what we need to do. Have faith in God. And you will have done so much good for Border Patrol. If you come down with the politics, then you will, you will have hurt them. It would have been better had we never even invited people to come down. There's a bigger picture here. There's more going on than just criminals and children and drugs being trafficked through across an open border. Okay, you have tunnel systems. You have these fuckers that are flying their drones and their ultralights over and dropping off fucking dope. I mean, look, man, these people are going to continue to try to find some way to invade us and to flood us with drugs. And the politicians are going to continue to try to find some way to keep perpetuating this, keep making it election issues. Every day they delayed, you've been flooded. You have millions that have just invaded you. Millions. These people are not going to want to be a part of our government system. It is too alien. They're, they're not, they can't embrace our constitution. They don't know. It's too alien to them. There's no time for them to even properly assimilate. They're automatically thrown in and you know what? Yeah, your court date's in two years. You know how many, you know how many kids that, that guy can go and rape in two years? You know how often that happens? Every day. You got states where they catch these criminals. ICE wants to come get them, but they won't report to ICE. They won't let ICE know that that pervert's saying, guess what happens? Pervert gets out and goes rapes and murders another person. We're trying to protect. We don't want any more angel families. I'm sorry, America, but their numbers are going to grow because of what's happened. Let's stop it now. Stop it all. Let's just stop it all. That's it. Let's stop it all. Please, let's just stop it all. Don't let them drag these women and kids 80 miles north of the fucking border anymore. That's. Don't let them even cross in. Don't let them traffic these people through. Don't let them use those huge groups to... Line up and link your hand, our hands, arm in arm, stand with American flags, line up along that highway too. They will not cross wherever you are. Shut it down one mile at a time. It's going to take a lot of people. Guys, don't engage the trolls. Focus on the mission. Who cares if people don't like what I have to say? They're not out doing a damn thing themselves. Who cares? Don't, don't, don't waste your time and energy. That's the devil. Get thee behind me. Let our uh, admins and mods, they'll ban and delete the people, the trolls. Don't worry about that. We got a mission to do. We got a mission to do. Either way, we're going to be out doing our mission. We're out building three sections of a warfighter wall. Taking three major key positions where the cartels were using our mountains, we're going to have our sheepdogs on top of those mountains, preventing the cartels from coming back. Locking down in this area. 
No matter what people do along the Mexican Highway 2, if you can't, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. You were warned. You've been offered support. It's up to you. But we're going to do everything we can to keep these fuckers from camo, from going up and murdering your family. So apologize, but I don't have time to deal with all that drama shit. We don't care what any troll has to say. These people are sitting on their homes in the computers and on their phones. We don't, who cares? Been talking about me for years. Not one of them can outwalk me. Because not one of them is putting God in front of them. They're making it about me. That's the dumbest thing you can do. You take away from the kids and the missions when you make it about me. <sighs> Instead of just going out there and doing doing something, let's criticize people who are doing something. And you know what? We're doing something every day. And it's not politics. And it's not sharing what other people are doing. And we're not taking nothing from the public they're not going out to do. That's not how I know. We're doing it every day. We're going to keep doing it every day. Our plan, our mission, this area, you have 100% confidence in, in, in three months, less than three months now. In three months, this area will be shut down regardless of what goes on on that border. This area will be taken away. This area needs to be shut down. It's the T.O. reservation boundary. That's Mexico. The entire T.O. This area needs to have a permanent position and a wall set up no matter what happens on that border until you see a wall go up on the Teal Reservation, 75 miles, no wall. Lucky if you have 12 Border Patrol agents trying to cover 75 miles, no military. They don't let the guard, they don't let the uh, military down on their border. No wall, no military, and they're helping the cartels. I told you this fight is so much bigger than most people realize. Before I go, that's the T.O. Right here. This is Pima County. This is just Pima County's border, by the way. Santa Cruz, this uh, over here, yeah, they're, they're bad too. We'll get to those. Right now, we're trying to shut down Pima County. All right? So, 400-something million acres, I think, something like that. And we're getting hit right here. So we're building our wall to shield them off right here. And this is where you guys need to go. If you want to stop them from using these people to help these people flood America. Because these are the criminals. These are the ones you need to worry about. First and foremost. You're not sneaking into a country carrying drugs, trafficking women and children, wearing camouflage clothing and carpet shoes so you can't be tracked. Going around Border Patrol, you're not an asylum seeker when you do that. Period. Don't let them tell you that they're helping asylum seekers. Their humanitarian aid does not go to asylum seekers. It goes to criminals. Proven, documented. That's why we tear them down. That's why you see those humane border flags go. We don't care. Shouldn't be aiding child traffickers, drug traffickers, criminals to get around Border Patrol. And since my taxes are financing your organization, we're going to spend our money to go and tear it down. Because we don't agree with open borders and trafficking women and children and having them raped. Who the fuck gives women and kids condoms so they can be raped? How, how is that humane? How is that humane? It's not. Don't let them steal the narrative. There is one truth. There's one God, one Lord and Savior, one Holy Spirit. Rules of three, Holy Trinity. Through there, you'll find the truth. You know what the truth is. Everything else, just lying. They're lying. What's up with Becky? I don't I don't care what people say or what they're doing or anything like that. We've already told people. All of our people pulled out. They're not going to get no more material support from us. Most of their support coming in was from VOP family as it is, still trying to help them and give them a chance. I don't have time for that drama. Who cares? If you're late to the show, it's drama. It has nothing to do with what we're doing. We're still out doing. Who cares? Don't have time for that. Not going to get into that game at all. 
Don't care. If I wanted to play a devil's game, but we'd be releasing all kinds of screenshots and fuck, we'd do, we'd be doing all kinds of stuff. That's what the devil wants you to do. No, we need people to go down and occupy that border. Do it smart. Don't listen to anyone telling you not to. You're being invaded. Unless you want women and children to be raped and serial rapists to keep working along that Mexican highway too, then fine, yeah. Listen to the drama and the lies and play the devil's game, but that's not going to stop child trafficking. If you're about stopping child trafficking, focus on what we're doing, what we're showing, and go out and do on your own. And then show what you're doing. And then the next person goes and does that. And the next person goes and does that. Focus mission first, always forward. We told you drama-free VOP. We want nothing to do with that stuff. We ain't got nothing to do with that stuff. We got a mission to do. Why does AZ Patriots? It goes with them too, guys. You see, you see how Border Patrol feels about those people? Border Patrol comes to my house. They go over my maps. They get the video evidence. They know that I'm not going to go out and hurt anything. They know I don't play politics. They know that I'm trying my best to help keep these people from coming into my backyard. They're catching all these sex offenders coming up towards my home. I don't see why other people that have children out here aren't like fucking standing up like what the hell. You know what happens if one of those guys cross through? They don't care. They're, they've already came in here and raped our women and children. They're coming back. And they can just walk right up through here. Because these routes are staged. We need people to focus on that, man. Who cares what these other groups. These other groups that say we're frauds. What have they done? Who have they helped? Judge people by their fruits. If you really care about what someone's saying about someone else, then look and see who's done what. Judge by their fruits. Simple as that. We're going to go out every day. You watch us. You'll see us go out and work every day like we have been. Paying our own way. Financing our own operations. Spending all of our time. We work longer shifts than Border Patrol sometimes. We don't get paid. We don't get no benefits. We pay out We pay out our ass just to get the good equipment that we got now and just to keep building up on it. You don't know how expensive these Buckeye cameras are going to run. Well, that's going to make our job easier because the minute it gets triggered, then it's going to go and we're going to be able to live stream and have those, that group. You'll be able to watch that group as they're cutting through. You'll be watching Border Patrol catch that group too. Everything's done right. And if everybody does things a smart way, it can happen. You can force that Mexican highway too. You can force the shutdown of all their trafficking routes just by going down there and building a human wall. The mere threat of veterans and civilians crossing over to occupy the highway, the Mexican government's going to, they're going to move their people up, which in turn is going to cause our people to move their people down. And then with all those people standing there, guess what you can't do? You can't hop the fence and rape a little girl and rape a woman and hop right back and grab another one and bring them over and rape. You can't do that no more. You just stop a huge evil that takes place on that highway. Pray for discernment. Go out, occupy the highway, focus on the mission. We'll be going live later. We got work to do today, guys. We got a new mountain to climb. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this one either. It's a hike out to it, but yeah. We got another spot they're using. These people are slick, man. Not, not just sick. Some of these people are slick. You should see. I mean, they're good, man. These people are real good. But that's okay. We don't play whack-a-mole. Everyone else wants to play whack-a-mole. This ain't a game. As soon as we find that hole, you stick your head out, you're done, hole shut, boom. We're going to seal that hole. You ain't popping your head back up over there again. The tactics we're using is just amazing with everything that we've been able to do. And if we could just get Border Patrol the resources, man, I'm telling you that you would be so much safer. And they'd be able to get a whole lot more than they're getting. And we're doing everything we can to help them get these guys. Man, they're going to come. They're coming towards you. Sorry, America. You want to come out here? I'll show you. I'll show you thousands that got through. Thousands. Thousands. Thousands of backpacks and camouflage clothing. Thousands have gotten through. 
And a lot of them, they're coming through for the third or fourth time. And they are sex offenders. They are gang bangers. They are murderers. They aren't asylum seekers. And they're going to hurt you. They're going to hurt your loved ones. And they're going to kill more Americans. Because everyone stopped and talked and waited on politics. And they're just coming through every day and night. And God's showing you. He's using us to show you. He's used us to show you for nine months. Sad. Nielsen says she is getting more BP. I, she, they need to. Yeah, it's great. It's great to say. It's great to say. You go down there and help her. If you believe that Trump and, and the secretary and these people, if you really believe that these people want the border shut down, then help them. Because they can't do it without you. They don't have enough manpower to shut this border down. No, they don't. They'd have to bring all our military back. I know this entire border. I've been on this border from New Mexico all the way over to California. You're talking one state. We don't have enough National Guard and military in our state right now to shut down that border. That Mexican Highway 2 is just massive. Massive. In your face, too. Am I following some fake group? Oh, I don't know. Sorry if I am. Like I said, I'm busy out working all the time. I don't know. They make, I don't see no other groups out here. So, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. So, if there's something I need to correct, let me know. But so far, I don't think I've shared anything that wasn't true. So, yeah, exactly, Tito. There's ways that you can shut this border down. Why don't you have the Pentagon set up military training along Mexican Highway too, and have them practicing securing our border like they send them over to secure Israel's border? Yeah, why don't we do that? They could have shut this border down a long time ago. The globalists won't allow them to. And you've had three big lies come from the White House. They said they beat back, back both caravans. Lie. They said they ended catch and release. Lie. Saying that Mexico was going to hold all the side. They've given everyone lies. They're like, oh, look, he's making Mexico hold them. No, they're not. I'm down there. I filmed the federalities. We were down there doing live Twitter videos. Go to our Twitter. We were watching them. We're, they we're filming them bus all these caravans over to California, where all the military was. So they put all these people over in California, and they put our military down in California. And then across the border, they had a few groups go down to throw up Constantine wires so they could say the military was on the border. No, they weren't. They were fucking hanging Constantine wire. And while they are hanging Constantine wire on a, on a wall, 90% of your unwall was still being flooded, and Border Patrol they didn't have anything to help them. Your military, that was the biggest lie. The military on the border. No, they could do that if they wanted to. Three big lies. All of them make us unsafe. If you can't tell American people the truth about this border, then you have no business sitting in any position of authority over the people or even representing the people. You have to tell the people the truth so they can prepare and protect themselves. It's just sad, guys. They could do it if they want to. If you don't make them do it, it's not going to happen. I'm good at what I do. I'm blessed. I got a fucked up brain. And I know I talk too much. And I know I'm screwy. Fine. But my plans work. I'm very good at what I do. And my heart's 100% right. No one's going to say, I don't want no one hurt. I don't want another child raped either. This is the only way I can think of. And this is the only way we're in a position to where we can actually make this work. And it takes a human wall down on that on that uh, highway too. It takes occupying the border. I don't know of any other way. Any other way involves getting a bunch of people down with guns and, 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 and escalating to where we shouldn't even have to to begin with. We're already entitled to border security. It's in the Constitution.
I don't know no other way. And you know what? If it doesn't work, trying isn't going to hurt a single thing. Trying isn't going to hurt a single thing. So why not try? Why not try? Give it a shot. Give it a shot. Start mobilizing to the border. Give it a shot. Start going down there. Grab your phone. Start going on live videos anywhere on the border you can. Show your friends and family that Mexican Highway 2. Show them that Rio Grande. Show them what's coming across the Colorado River over there west of Yuma. Show them all these wide open spots. Go down, occupy the border. Go to live videos repeatedly. Show them. More will come. I don't know no other way to do this. If it's done this way and it's done smart, strategically, you just made both sides secure the border. And VOP's on watch. And VOP will let you know when they leave. If they leave, VOP will call you right back down and say, guys, they're pulling out. They're opening it back up. You got to go down there once again, make them move their military from the south up to the border and our military down to the border because they just opened it back up. We'll be Johnny on the spot, let you know if that happens. It's our backyard. And you have every right to come into our backyard. Anyone in America, you have a right to come. You're not invading Arizona. We invite you. We invite you. Those of us living on the border, having these criminals come to our property, our neighbor's property, our community. Those of us that are at risk every day because these perverts are just flooding us. Those of us with children that are doing everything we can to protect our children. Watching my daughter's future in America die because America's dying. And that's just sad. She deserves so much better. That's it. I don't know no other way. If I, if I, if I thought of something or it had, I, I give you options. I'm telling you, that's the best thing. That's the best we can do. Go occupy the border. See, let's just see. Just try. You're coming down, contact us. We'll go down to Loopville with you. I can put out some more cameras. I got enough out here. BP's got pass. I'll give them. I'll give them coordinates for my other cameras if need be. And they they got the the passcodes. They can go check my cameras and they, they have permission to anything to do their job to help them. So, yeah, I can pull out and run down and help you guys build a human wall and stand and link arms with you. We'll do that. We'll come down. And we'll bring our families in force. There's no reason why Americans shouldn't be safe in their national parks. But it's a peaceful occupation. Do it right. Child trafficking also happening at asylum checkpoints. Yes, child trafficking. Your government is trafficking children right now, guys. Your government is trafficking children. Southwest Keys was sending these children off to sex offender sponsors. There are sponsor families. You have perverts that are taking these migrant, migrant children in and sponsoring them. And our taxes fund that. We expose that. Look what happened to Southwest Keys. So yeah, I mean, your government's trafficking children. Cartels are trafficking children. Americans are trafficking children. And, you know, it's everybody's trafficking children. Just, uh, they're, they're the hot commodity down here. Isn't that sick? It's crazy. That's just sick. These little kids don't have a choice being dragged up through here. Then you put them in the hands of them. It's sad. So let's go stop it. That's all you got to do. Go stop it. If it bothers you, go stop it. We're down here. We'll help.
going through. You guys have any other questions? Didn't get a lot of sleep last night. It's going to be a fun day. We're going to go live. I think we're going to have reception. There's a hidden valley. There's another trafficking route that we've uncovered. And yeah, go in and document the whole trail. Uh, just, it's everywhere. But you know what? Worst place for them to be moving that right now, I can tell you. Because they're getting caught coming through there. Yeah, we all agree. 90, 99% of you guys on here agree. We all agree. Many of you can't come and do more. Just pray. Pray if you can't. And if you can, you need to focus on the mission and not listen to anything else. Not listen to any politics. Don't listen to anyone who tells you not to. They tell you not to go down and stop child trafficking. You know what side they're on. If they tell you not to go down and use your public lands, you know what side you're on. If they tell you to go down full kit, make sure you're ready to go to war, you know what side they're on. They're not on our side. Don't listen to what other people tell you to do. I'm giving you the information. You want to occupy the border, pray for discernment. God puts it in your heart. And I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know. I know this will work. But shit. I don't know if it, I don't I don't know if uh if there's going to be any blessing other than probably just us doing what we're doing right now because America doesn't even do what we should for our own kids. We're murdering our own kids. So, I'm counting on a miracle here from God. And you won't see me lose any sleep, be honest with you, if he decides that nope, this has to take place. Your nation turned its back from me. It fails to repent, hit their knees. It fails to stop slaughtering their own children. It fails to stand up and hold evil accountable. Our government is a reflection of our people. It's sick, isn't it? What can God do for a nation like that? So, he can. All things are possible through him. We're trying to do this through him. So, let's put him in the front. He doesn't want these women and kids getting raped. I know that. Go down there, man. It's, you can already see his miracles take place if people start showing up and just start showing up. Then people start showing up. Then you're going to end up catching these groups that are coming across and being able to let BP know right away. You're going to be there so that guy can't snatch that woman or child and run off to the side while Border Patrol is bogged down with a group of 50. You're going to be there. They're not going to want to cross because you're there watching. And there's American flags everywhere. And oh shit, there's nowhere to cross. They're just lined up. Linking arms. All I can say is try it. Whether you do it or not, doesn't affect what we're going to do, to be honest. We're going to just keep doing what we're doing. Only ones out here doing. More welcome to go out and do. If you want help building a group, we'll build you. We'll build you the same thing. We build ADG. We'll build you the same thing. We'll get. We'll we'll, we'll set everything up. But you're gonna have to do it the right way, peacefully, and understand that this. You're just surrounded by a bunch of landmines, man. You take one small wrong step, and it's bad. And a lot of people get hurt. So be careful. Be careful. Just go to the border. Any other questions? I gotta go. I gotta work. I'm gonna start getting tired. Seventy percent has no clue. Then fine. Then we need to get the thirty percent that has a clue down on the border and live video, live video, and then the whole media can't ignore it no more. Then no one can use awareness as an excuse not to do more because too many people who can do more are just stuck in the awareness well i get up every day to share the stories and tell people what's going on and it's like well you know what you could walk across the street and visit your neighbor and help that old lady maybe she don't maybe you can help her cut her grass or you know 
Maybe you can go actually buy her some produce, do something nice for her. You can go down the street and help a homeless person. You can go to the hospital and visit a sick kid that's dying and pray for him. You can do all kinds of stuff. But if you're just stuck in the awareness, well, guess what? We've got millions of people. We need to turn our boots online into boots on the ground. If boots online became boots on the ground, we'd have millions down here. You have to move past the awareness. Awareness is only a part of what we do. We're making you aware of these routes. At the same time, we're showing you how to get in and stop and shut these routes down. At the same time, we're showing you how to set up and stage so you can get Border Patrol the intelligence they need to do their job. How to take back what's been taken from us. Our safety has been taken from us. Our security has been taken from us. Our country has been taken from us. Our constitution has been taken from us. You have to take it back. We don't just bring awareness. We go out and show solutions and we provide solutions. The amount of intelligence that we've gathered in just such a short amount of time is, is crazy. Your teams have been down here for five years and don't even have one tenth of what we had. I haven't even been able to achieve what we've been able to do. That's God showing you. If you can use a wretched person like me, scrape from the bottom of the pot to go out and do what I do, imagine what he can do with you. Just imagine what he can do with you. So don't talk about me. Go talk about these children being raped. Don't let them change the narrative. That's my cue. Facebook's. You guys have a good day. This thing's not going to stop. I ain't going to go to work anyways. God bless. We'll be going live later. You'll see us on another mountain. It is what we do. We walk while others talk. Go occupy the border right there. Mexican Highway 2. Go down and enjoy the, enjoy the cactus.